Hi on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about this box. Well, not exactly this box, but what's in this box. So I just thought I'd build some excitement by uh, showing you the box. Although I don't really think that you need three guesses to, to know what's in it. So let's, let's progress to the more interesting bit. Oh, it's another box. A bit like that parcel parcel where you had to unwrap it and you'd be like one thing to another. But again, I think by now it's pretty obvious what this is. So originally I wasn't going to buy one of these because my, my the time period my layout set sort of like mid mid 80s ish, give or take a bit, and sort of like through to sort of like the early 90s sort of thing. It didn't really have many preserved diesels running. There's a few of these that were moved around in sort of by you know other locos and bits and pieces, but there, there weren't really any that was running by themselves or not that I know of anyway. But um, I sort of had a look through the Akira scale things and I sort of had a look through and then Rails of Sheffield sort of released a load as limited editions or their editions anyway and um, it just had to be done. My criteria for, for this was she had to be green and she had to have full yellow ends. Other than that I wasn't really too fussed which one it was and um, which one did I end up choosing? A blue one, but with four yellow ends and white cabs. Talia, Talia. So, as always, I'm not going to do a box opener or anything like that. But what I've got is I've got the P4 drop in wheel set from Akira Scale, so we're going to fit that. And I've also got the cruise arrived as well, so we're going to we're going to have a go fitting the cruise, see how we get on with that as well. So that's that's what I'm going to do. But I generally haven't even taken this out of the box myself yet. I've sort of hung on to the video.
So there was some of my file footage. So basically what we had there was some Deltics in mainline action, back as they were when they were in service. And then I've got the next one was a Deltic rail tour. So that's on the mainline in preservation. And then finally on the Bluebell in preservation. I think, I think that that was one of the Bluebell galas. There was both nine and 19 were there. So you had the green and the blue one were both there on the same day. Um, but only running on one engine as you would expect so I hope that was enjoyable so this is the magnificent beast in all her glory so as I said um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the wheels now to the P4 um, the Curacao P4 ones which are is this here so they're, they're the direct drop-ins for, for the ones that are in there now so we're going to do that first. So in order to take this part, there's six locations that you need to um, apply a little bit of pressure to. And don't forget to take the chains off because um, the chains need to be removed as well prior to the bogies coming off. Just get on that clip and just give it a little tiny bit of pressure just to lift it off and then work your way down not forcing the bogey I'm sort of supporting the main bogey by keeping my hands on the pushing down on the wheels so I'm only lifting the the bogey itself and not actually trying to pull the bogey out of the loco because that will lead to problems if that happens then that's it free take the old wheels out Just put a little tiny bit of pressure on the wipe just to make sure that when they go back in they've got good electrical contact on the back of the slightly wider wheels. And there you go, 
I don't know how much of that you can actually see because obviously I was working. It's difficult sometimes to do stuff on camera or have the camera running and doing it. But um, hopefully we managed to film most of that. But it is a really quite easy process to do. I've not reconnected the change yet because I'm going to take the body off to fit the crew. So that's the next um, the next thing I need to do. So actually getting the cab off was quite a lot easier than what I thought. I did take the EHH jumpers off the front. I don't know whether or not you had to or not, but I did. And basically there's like four clips. I was taking the back on one off really. And there are some other little tiny detail bits and pieces that obviously you need to be a little bit careful of, but nothing too drastic. And it come off really easy to be fair. And I've got my Curious Girl crew, which is, this is the later one. I suppose really by the time they're in preservation they should have orange jackets and stuff but to be fair I'm not really um, I think if I try and paint something orange on there I'd make a bigger mess of it so I'm going to leave them as they are but uh, I suppose they would look better if they did have the, um, the orange overall one but as I said I'm not going to So that's my driver and my second man in there. And they tuck in there quite nicely. So a little bit of super glue just to hold them in position. And um, just a good one. Right, I'm going to put this back together and then we'll go and take it down the train set and um, see what happens. So here we are back at Phoenix Parkway. I suppose now I've been coming here probably for a good year or so train spotting, you know, on and off. And I uh, quite like it. Uh, you get quite a diverse traffic through uh, You get the right time of the day, etc, etc. I've, no, I've also got to know the local lads as well. And they're a really nice bunch of lads. They're all up at the platform at the moment. So I sort of wandered down here to um, sort of where it's a bit quieter but there's a real buzz um, I was showing them a couple of three weeks ago my brand new pager it's one of these really sophisticated ones that you actually get a message on so you um not not like my old one I had that was just sort of buzzed and then you had to go and phone a central number and then they would give you the the message this one actually has got the message that actually comes up on a little display on the top of it I mean technology I just it's just fantastic Anyway, so this morning I get some message to say that there might be something of interest running down here. And um, if I was, then I should probably get my backside down here. Phones in work, gives them the old pony story like you do. Jumps in my Vauxhall Colton and makes tracks to come down here. I spoke to the local lads this morning and they're not totally sure, but um, they know the guy in the top's office that's feeding them a little bit of information. And there seems to be something of interest going on a little bit later on in the day. I'm going to go up there now and see um, exactly what's going on. And if you bear with me, we'll, uh, we'll find out exactly what's going on. Enjoy. Was it worth scribing the day I hear you cry? Well, I think so. The Delta you can see in front of you is 55015 Talia. And she's worked from Doncaster to Phoenix Parkway TPO. Running as the 1Z5509 55 Doncaster Phoenix Parkway TPO. She's currently at Phoenix Broadway where they're doing some sort of drinks in the saloon, in the manager's saloon there. I suppose they're all going around saying how well they've done them, patting themselves on the back. And then once that's complete, then she's going to set back into the TPO to make the East Coast Heroes set down there. So I'm not totally sure what else is down there, but the boys have said there are a couple of other East Coast locos down there. And this, this, this was all about making the East Coast set or the East Coast Heroes. I'm going to get myself down the other end of the yard now, see what we can see down there, and then hopefully the Delta won't be too much longer. I'm sure there'll be more drinks and God knows what else by the time they get down there as well.
it's got to be said that Deltic can half stand out she does look the best of the three of them I'm just going to find my 1980s drone round and have a little look at the lo the three locos there in the line and as always we do have permission from the yard manager to do this Okay, so this is where I'm going to leave the video for today. I do think it was well worth bunking the day off sick to come down here and get this. These sort of occasions don't happen very often and it's nice to see it when it does. So thanks to the boys for tipping me off that this was going ahead and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.